Hello friends and welcome back. I thought I'd try doing a voiceover of this progression series as I was told by a viewer that they much preferred my voice so they could listen to the video instead of sitting through the captions. I'd figured I'd oblige and ask that if you prefer this method of presentation that you let me know in the comments. I'm not one to normally ask for feedback or interaction with my videos, but I figured this was a decent enough reason to make an exception. I did it again and let a few weeks of footage pile up again instead of editing promptly like I should be. And that brings us to today. This footage is from the anniversary event that recently passed and includes some more recent footage from the Rise update as well. This anniversary event had a 5-10-15 event coupled with a no boom room, so I finally decided to start on my Thunderbreaker in hopes of making some gains. With the relatively recent changes to Golux, I no longer have to ring roulette and live in fear of booming an irreplaceable item. I still chose to roulette through my superior earrings, reinforce ring, and solid ring and upgrade them evenly. This was done so in case I did boom, with the few backups I had, I'd be able to have the largest amount of gains without settling at 17 star again. However, I did manage to successfully complete my solid ring to 20 stars, and due to the potential being 30% strength already, this ring is done. My reinforced ring and superior rings did reach 20 stars, but I lost both immediately due to booming, and settled with a 17 star reinforced ring and 18 star superior rings. Fortunately, unlike my ghost ship exorcist badge, both of those items are replaceable, so I'll eventually work my way back up. After finishing starring on my Thunderbreaker, I went ahead and finished my second Kana's gear to 17 stars. This was pretty quick as I only had to get to 17 stars on the equips, and I did transfer hammer certain gear at 16 stars to make the procedure faster, and since none of my gear was beyond epic, I lost nothing in exchange. If anything, I saved myself some meso. I am still using a Zakum accessory for my eye slot and haven't found a black bean mark yet, but considering how strong Kana is and the fact that the Zakum eye is already cubed, I don't think I'll go hunting for a black bean mark. The fact the second Kana is already this strong without cubing is just another testament to how busted the class is. Even though Kishin did get nerfed, it'll still be worthwhile to invest in this Kana because I do plan to turn my main Kana farmer into something more. We'll come back to more star fishing in a bit because I did get even luckier, but near the close of the pixel anniversary I took a chance with the 5 chaos circulators you could buy in hopes of getting close or perfecting my inner ability. My inner ability before I began to circulate was 20% boss damage, 21 attack, 16% critical rate. My plan was to hopefully roll a perfect second and third line of 21 attack and 20% critical rate, and then re-roll for boss damage. Unfortunately, in those 5 circulators, I lost 4% boss damage and 3 attack in exchange for 2% crit. Not my best moment, but I already planned for this to be a long-term project. So, before the anniversary came to a close, there was a final 30% off star first sale, that same day, I had managed to flame my Dominator Pendant to 64 Strength and 6% Allsta, and was also lucky enough to transpose that to a Sweetwater Pendant within the day. Due to the dinero cost of Sweetwater items, I was encouraged to star the Pendant that day. I managed to finish the Monstrosity to 22 stars as well, and all within the same day, of course, and I was left with over 6k dinero. This means I have successfully finished my Sweetwater gear and have no use for dinero anymore, but I'll still hold on to a few stacks just in case there's another meta change. After finishing the pendant and replacing my 17 star superior pendant with it, I also took it upon myself to finish my CRA hat. The rise update would bring a price reduction on the cost of arcane armors and swapping to 5 set arcane would mean I'd be swapping back to my CRA hat. Even though I wouldn't be safeguarding the CRA hat, a no boom room would still be a good thing to take advantage of, and on top of the 30% star force event. And luckily enough, my luck had still not run dry and I managed to 22 star the hat before the day was over as well. Flaming my hat will be a work in progress, as many of my flaming projects are, but I will continue to work on the hat as things progress. I also want to take some time to mention I haven't given up on 275. I'm definitely moving slower due to the Kish nerf, but before that memo even went live, I managed to hit 270, and now the real hell levels begin. Not looking forward to having to make double the amount of EXP for one level, but I'll get through it. And finally, as many of you now know, the Rise update is live, and as mentioned prior, Arcane Armors went down in price by a drastic amount. I finally got my hands on my Arcane Umber gloves, shoes, cape, and shoulder. I won't be equipping them for a while, unfortunately, as I need to star, cube, and flame them before they outclass my Abso gear. One good thing is that since my Absos are only 17 star, they straight up trump them at the matching star. But even with this said, I have enough droplets for a backup, so I'll attempt to go a bit higher on my Arcanes. But again, I'll only be starring on events to save Meso since I'm not struggling to clear my bosses at the moment. 
And on a final note, there was a really small cube sale. And when I mean small, I mean small. It was only a 15% uh, sale and you could only buy 75 of each cube. With 150 cubes total, I attempted to get a better roll on my new Sweetwater Pendant. I was sitting at 26% strength on it before I, the event started, and by the time I finished using my cubes, I had lost 3% strength. You don't always win them all. With all that said, hopefully this was a quick enough video and you've enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye